In this movie, I want to demonstrate how to make graphical user interfaces in MATLAB. And there's a little tool to do it, but before I go and show you how to use the tool, what I want to do is just demonstrate the application that I've built for doing this. So I called it New Demi Demo GUI, and it's just an M file, and so I just hit return, and here's my app. The idea behind this app is to take a parameter from the user, uh, in this case I'll just say 3, and when I click this plot button, it'll do two things. It'll calculate the sine of pi times alpha and put it in the second green window. And it'll also plot the function. So sine of 3 pi, right, alpha pi is 3 pi, is 0. And MATLAB gives me 4 times 10 to the minus 16, which is as close to 0 as I can get. And um, then it plots sine of 3, 3 x from x equals 0 to 10. All right? um, so I can change this now to 3.7 and say plot and it updates the function and updates the value in that box and I can change it to 10 and I should get a whole lot of waves. All right, So, th so this is my demo. It just demonstrates some of the basic th things you want to do with a GUI interface. That is take input, show results and then show plots if desired. All right, And then I have this exit button where I can get out if I want to. So let's see how to do that. The tool for doing this in MATLAB is called Guide. So I just type Guide, hit Return, and I get this window which I'll drag over, and this is the standard Guide input window. All right. So what we do here is we kind of paint out our interface. So this white area will be the size will be the size of our app. So the bigger I make this white area, the bigger the app. Uh, let me just shrink it a tad. All right, I'll do it this big. Then on the left is a toolbar with all kinds of user interfaces. There's a, a push button, a toggle button. Down here are edit text and static text. We'll use both of those. There's sliders, list boxes, and axes is how we'll do our plot. So let's start with just a, a title. Uh, we'll click the static text box and then just draw this out. Now, I can't just go edit this right here. What I do to change the properties of this box is I go Tools, Property Inspector, and it brings up a list of properties specific to that one object. All right, so for instance, I can change the background color. I can um, click on background color and maybe I want to be this sort of pinkish thing. And then I can change the font size down here. We'll make it say 14 and the font weight. We'll make it bold. And then to change what's in the box, the string is what the box lists. So I can write um, what my demo application. There's also a tag. The tag is what we'll use to refer to this later. I'm not going to refer to the title later, so I'm going to leave that. And then the last thing of interest, uh, oh, that's about all I need to change here. Now while I'm here, let me click on the background, and now this is the, I've clicked on just the white. And if I go back to properties, now this lets me change the properties of the figure. One thing I want to do is change the name because this was what goes in the title bar. And if you don't change that, the title bar will say unti untitled when you run it, and it looks kind of ugly. The other thing is I do want to change the tag of this whole thing. They call them figures usually, so I'll, fig I'll do figure app main. So I know that this is the main figure that controls the whole app. I guess that's about all I want to change here. All right, so let me go back here. And the first thing we want to do is add an edit, an exit button. So I'll click here, and I'll just map out an exit button. And again, we can go switch back to the properties window. I'll make this a 12-point font. I do want to change the tag. I'll call it button exit. The way I do this is I call all buttons button something. So it, they all start with button and then they finish with something descriptive that I'll hopefully be able to remember later. And then to
change what it says I'll go to string and just type exit say all caps alright so now I can go back here and now I have an exit button now what we want to do is make sure that that does something useful and so I have to attach some code to that so what I do is I go to file save and it asks me for a name so I'll call this next demo GUI hopefully I'll be able to remember that and this will save both an M file and a fig file and it also brings up the MATLAB editor um, with the M file associated with that GUI object so the top stuff is all stuff that I just ignore all right because I always use the defaults for that then there's a bunch of comments and down here is where the interesting thing is there's function var arg out equals button exit callback blah 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 so basically button exit here refers to the exit button and this was the tag we gave to that button and this function will be executed when the button is clicked so what I do is I get rid of this which is the default and I replace this with a command that will kill the whole app because that's what we want the exit button to do now what I've done is just grabbed and I will paste in the appropriate command so what you do is you do delete handles dot and then whatever you called that application and now I've already forgotten what I used so I'll go back to guide and click on the figure and then back to properties and the tag for that figure is figure app main so now I'll go back to the MATLAB editor and type figure app main alright so what this says is take handles dot figure app main and delete it now figure app main is our main figure for the whole thing and handles dot figure app main is just the way MATLAB refers to this figure app main object alright so it says delete that object which kills the whole thing so this will exit so to test it we just do save and then I go back to the command window and type next demo GUI to run that M file so I type next demo GUI and here's our app with the exit button and I click exit and it goes away alright so that's basically how you use these things now I want to go, go and put go do is put in the rest of the user interface elements and then put in the appropriate code that will control the app so now we're back to guide and we want to put in these elements so I want to put in three text windows or text static text strings whatever you want to call them one two three so one of these Two, the two of these on the left are just going to be labels the one in the lower right will hold the results when we get that far and then I want to put in one edit text window that will allow the user to change the value so users can't change the static text boxes but they can change the edit text boxes so now what I want to do is change some properties I highlight all four of these just by selecting them and then if I go back to the property windows I can change the font size to 12 and it'll change all of them or I can change the background color to who knows what at this point green say alright now I want to take these left two and actually probably should change the, the color on those so it's not the same let's make it purple get really ugly alright um, then I want to do them individually and change some values so I'll go to the first one and the first one is just a label and so I want the string to be input a value for alpha all right then I'll leave the rest you could change it all I don't usually worry about tags for these because I don't generally touch them anymore this one would say sine of alpha times pi alright now I want to click on this one and I do want to give it a name because I'm going to have to refer to it when I stick a value in there so I do first change the tag I'll call this text output 
because that's where I'm going to put some output values. And then I want to just get rid of the string altogether because I want to start with that empty and only change it when I hit the plot button. And then this one I want to have a default value. So I'll call this edit alpha and then I want it, that's the tag, and then for a default value I want to change the string to something like 1.75. Say that's our default. You can make that whatever you want. All right. So now we're all set with those. It looks like this one's not fitting very well. I guess what I should do is make it bigger. And then just for symmetry I'll make this one the same size. And then just because it's bugging me I'm going to change that font color. So to do that I go back to properties and that would be background color and I don't know what's good for to go on purple something light oh I changed the background well that's good enough we'll leave it